Hi friends, welcome to Vidya's Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare Bangalore mutton fowl. I'm going to be serving this with layer paratha. All the ingredients are laid out for this recipe and it will be listed in the description box below this video. For this recipe I'm using mutton. We can also use chicken, coriander, lime, roughly chopped onion, garlic, ginger, green chilies. Whole spices will be peppercorns, two strands of maize, cinnamon, cloves and cardamom. I'll also be using pepper powder, chili powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder and ginger and garlic paste. Ginger and garlic paste recipe I've already posted in basics of Indian cooking recipe. I'll post the link to the recipe in the description box below this video or you can click the i-card above this video which will direct you to my blog or the video. I'm going to start preparing the meat gravy first. In a pressure pan I've heated oil. I'm also going to use only one pan for this recipe. So I'll fry the onions first. The onions is going to give a nice texture and it's also going to thicken the gravy. We need a brown onion masala base for this recipe. Fry it on low to medium flame. Fry it till it turns transparent. Now at this point my onion has uh, turned transparent and it's starting to turn light brown in color so at this point i'll add the whole spices the reason why i'm adding the whole spices later is because i don't want it to burn the onions has to turn light brown in color now i'll start adding the ginger and garlic along with the green chilies and uh, i'm going to fry the ginger and garlic as well Basically, I'm eliminating all the raw flavors. So we want a good uh, fried onion masala base for this recipe. Fry all the ingredients. The chilies should start getting that blisters on it. So at that point, you can remove the masala. Now that my masala has fried, I'm just going to drain it from the excess oil and uh, directly add it to a mixer jar. We are not going to use any excess oil because I've added enough oil in the pressure pan. We'll use the same oil to fry the meat as well. Once this masala cools down, I'll grind it into a smooth paste. There's enough oil in the pressure pan. I've added ginger and garlic paste. This ginger and garlic paste is my mother's recipe. She has added peppercorns and fennel seeds to it. So the aroma is very nice and good. You can add this uh, ginger garlic paste to prepare many dishes. So I'll post the link in the description box below this video how to prepare ginger and garlic paste. Now we have also added the meat. I'm just going to fry the meat on low to medium flame. I've added chili powder, turmeric powder and coriander powder. This is to eliminate the raw flavor and uh, give a good texture to the meat. We need to add all the dry spices. So I'll place this on low flame and fry the meat. While my meat is frying, I'm just going to grind this masala paste. I've also added the coriander to this. So very funny thing I would like to say is you can use this mutton gravy to also prepare your mutton palau, your Bangalore style mutton palau. Now my masala is ready, I've just added a splash of water and I've ground it into a smooth paste. I've transferred this masala paste to the meat. I'm not going to waste any of that masala paste which is uh, left over in the mixer jar. I've added water and added it back to the meat. We need to add one cup of water to cook the meat. Check for salt and add salt. 
The recipe in detail will be on my blog. Blog link will be posted in the description box below this video or you can click the icon above this video which will direct you to my blog. Also like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter for regular updates. The same recipe is also translated and posted on YouTube Tamil. YouTube Tamil link will also be in the description box below this video. Now I've just placed the cover on the meat and I've placed the whistle. We need to cook this for three whistles. Once the meat has cooked for three whistles, just check if it is cooked. If not, you have to place the cover back and place it for another two whistles. Now at this point, my meat has cooked. I've heated a fry pan to temper the meat gravy. I've added uh, one tablespoon of ghee. Now once the ghee is nice and hot, I'll add pepper powder and fry it for a few seconds. This will enhance the flavor in the meat gravy and give it a nice uh, peppery fragrance. I'll remove this pepper powder tempering and I'll temper the meat gravy. We need to immediately cover this and allow the meat gravy to absorb all that uh, good fragrance. I'm going to serve this meat gravy with uh, lacha paratha or layer parathas, which is very famous here in uh, Bangalore and in South basically. So I've already shown you how to prepare this. I'll post the link how to prepare this uh, layer paratha in the description box below this video or you can click the icon above this video which will direct you to the recipe. Now how we serve this is we, we scrunch that uh, paratha and uh, to the layers we'll add the meat gravy. We'll uh, mix the meat gravy in the paratha and taste it along with the meat and the onions. So if you enjoyed watching this video recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes friends. The recipe in detail will be on my blog. All the links to my social media and blog will be in the description box below this video. Do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes. I'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.